Impact. Yo, what up? It's your boyfriend, Drew Reagan. Happy Mindset Monday. Happy September. Today's Labor Day. I hope you're not checking your email. So maybe you'll receive two emails Monday and Tuesday, or maybe you just open both up. But if you do happen to open your email, watch this video, close it, then go outside, play. Hopefully you're at the 9 a.m. Labor Day boot camp we're having today. But today I want to talk about triggers and habits. Coming into the month of September, everyone already knows that September is the new January, right? We're trying to set off some, some awesome new habits. Um, summer is unfortunately coming to a close here, and uh, we want to get back on the wagon of, of making sure we're attacking those health and fitness goals or whatever we want to focus on becoming better at, right? It doesn't have to be necessarily health and fitness. But when we're talking about triggers, we can talk about creating new habits or triggers to help uh, break poor habits. For example, uh, one of my personal triggers, right, after I eat dinner, right, that's the trigger, dinner, I want something sweet. So I get into the habit of wanting blizzards, cookies, you name it, right, it's going down. So I need to make sure that I'm replacing a new habit with the current trigger that I have in place. So instead of, you know, reaching for something sweet, what's, the, what's something I can replace that with? What's a positive habit I can replace that old one with, right? So instead of reaching for something sweet, Right, maybe I can reach for some bedtime tea, go for a walk, drink some water, right? Whatever is going to help me de-stress and help satisfy that urge for something uh, sweet, right? Another trigger uh, smokers have, for example, uh, usually when smokers drink caffeine or they drink alcohol, they're going to want a cigarette as well, right? That's a bad trigger. That's a poor habit, obviously. But so what can we do? What types of triggers do we have every single day that can help ingrain new habits? Uh, particular triggers can be waking up in the morning, right? Things you do every day, brushing your teeth, going to work, coming home from work, right? Whatever those triggers are, try and associate a positive habit. So every single time you do that trigger, that habit, that habit happens automatically, right? Do that on the regular, beat it into your brain and, and make that, that connection happen. And over time, it's just going to be what you do, right? Instead of you know, getting on autopilot and driving automatically home, you get it on autopilot to go straight to the gym and get your workout in, right? Do whatever you got to do to associate some awesome triggers and some awesome habits. So um, make September awesome. Happy Labor Day, and uh, we'll see you this week. Thanks, guys.